What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Now, the Sega Genesis, okay, the Sega Genesis has a lot in common with the PC Engine because the first thing I think about are the shooters. Um, I'd never got all my Genesis shooters in one place and I'm looking at this now and like there's a lot of stuff so I probably have maybe half of the library. So I'll show you what I got. First game and this is actually one of my favorite. Maybe I'll rate some of these from like A to D, a scale from A to D. Troubleshooter. This is a cart only. It's a rough looking cart. Um, yeah, <laughs> see, it's rough. But uh, it's an original cart. I printed the uh, cover art. I actually printed cover art for uh, quite a few of these. Some of them have manuals, and I don't really care. As long as I have the cart and the game to play, if it's original, that's cool. I do have some repros. We'll go over those. But Troubleshooter. Um, and there's a pretty awesome uh, sequel to this as well. But we didn't get that here in the U.S. But anyway, Troubleshooter. Uh, Steel Empire. Um, yeah, this shooter's okay. Again, this is just a cart. A lot of these, like I said, are uh, just carts. And uh, sometimes they're made by different people. You know, they're not made. They're not first-party Sega carts. So sometimes you have to find cases to fit different size carts, like EA and stuff like that. But original cart, and I printed out cover art. I think I went to like maybe SegaRetro.com or something. But anyway, Steel Empire, Fire Shark. Uh, I want to say this is a really, really good shooter, but it, it, uh, it's okay. It's not great. Um, yeah, this was released in that uh, that Toaplan, Toaplan, whatever, Toplan, Toaplan. You know what I'm talking about, Toaplan collection. Um, I was thinking about getting that. Um, I have a couple of games in that collection. There's a couple that I don't have, but anyway, Fire Shark. Uh, next game, this is actually original cover art, uh, but no manual. This is a uh, viewpoint. I think this is a Neo, this is a SNK game, I do believe. This was uh, released here by Sammy Studios, but I'm pretty sure this is an SNK franchise game. Um, I'm pretty sure I have Viewpoint on the Neo Geo CD, but anyway, eh, it's not great on the Genesis, but it's cool, you know, it's, all this stuff's flea market stuff. Look guys, all this stuff right here, all this is like flea market. I bought one game online, and that one game is a repro. Um, all this stuff, you know, you, you go to channels like a Radical Reggie, and you know, everything's complete in box with its manual. Like that, this is not like that. This is like just games to play, like all flea market special right here. Everything I got from the flea market, pretty much, except for like one or two games. Um, but anyway, in Sector X, and guess what? I actually got this cover art from SegaRetro.com. But uh, pretty cool cover art. Sometimes for some of these games, but original cart, of course. Um, some of these games have better Japanese art. Some games have better, you know, Western art. I'll give you an example of that. Gaiaris. Okay, so I actually prefer the North American artwork to this game. If you have, maybe I'll get a picture online and you know, flash it on the screen right now. But uh, this is really pretty cover art too. I made a T-shirt actually of this uh, this cover art. But, um, you know, here's the cart that we got here in the U.S. You know, nothing great. This is a really good shooter. I'm going to say this is, like, you know, one of the A-class shooters, in my opinion. I really, really like this one, Guy Aris. And, you know, the carts aren't that expensive. Um, that's why I like just buying carts. And, you know, I'll print cover art. You know, some of these games, I got kind of lazy over the past, I want to say, year, year and a half, maybe two years, ever since I uh, switched jobs. And I've just been collecting carts. I actually got some new carts the other day. I'll show you in a minute. But, anyway, Guy Aris. And next up, this is a this is a pretty good one too, uh, Arrow Flash. Now this is a you know card only. I printed cover art, um, but original cart, and this is the Japanese artwork. Um, the U.S. artwork isn't that bad either on this, but I like to look at that. That's cool. That's cool. But anyway, Arrow Flash. Uh, next up, I know a Canadian gamer found a copy of this recently, and it, so did I. Actually, got this not that long ago. But uh, Philios, this is a uh, this is like a uh, like a Greek mythology um, style game. Yeah, see, kind of weird. So this is a uh, you know just no manual, but you know cart and uh, original cover art here. Um, this is actually a pretty good one. I actually highly recommend this one. It's not uh, not all that expensive. Um, Next up, we have an EA shooter, Battle, Squ Squ blah, blah, blah. Battle Squadron. This one's decent. The graphics are okay. They're kind of bright. Um, 
I, I'm not a huge fan of the, the pixel artwork in this game, but the mechanics are pretty decent. This is actually a pretty decent shooter, and uh, on the scale of, you know, how much is this thing worth, it's really not. You can get it pretty cheap, um, and I actually printed cover art for this. This is one that, uh, like I said, you got to find a different style case, so they're not all, you know, regular Sega Genesis sized games, but uh, Battle, Squ Squ Battle Squadron. Okay, this is probably my favorite. There's two games that we're going to talk about that are my favorite. This is one of them, Grindstormer. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a Toplin shooter. Oh, and this is, a, again, Flea Market, but... I, I, fuck it, I'm just going to show you this one. Oh, Lord. All all original, baby. Complete. Look, look at that cart. Whew. Damn. Thanks, fresh. Look at that. God damn. This is a, this is a beauty right here. Look, manual... I need to get like a manual protector. Like, I, you know, I don't see stuff like this every day. And I got this years ago. Um, I got a one of those retro, oh God, take care of this thing. I got a retro protector case for this one. Um, I'm pretty sure this is at least, at least a hundred dollar game uh, at this point. And I, I'm pretty sure I paid a, a bit for this when I first got it. I think I might've paid maybe $60 for this. And this was a few years ago. Um, there was a time when quite a few retro stores in my area had copies of this, and they had them for like $100, and I, I would buy that game for that price right now, um, this game for that price, uh, but yeah, Grindstormer, and again, this is a Toplin, right? Yeah, see that? Toplin, so how come this wasn't in that Toplin collection that just came out, and this is like, I like this game better than all them other games, even Truxton. Um, and we'll get to that later, but anyway, Grindstormer, one of my top two favorite uh, shooters on the system. Um, okay, let's go over, we'll go over these all at once. These are the Thunder Force games that came out on the uh, Sega Genesis. Now, I'll just go ahead and say this is reprinted artwork, this is reprinted artwork, and this is original artwork, just no manuals, so none of these have manuals in them, but they're all, all original cards, you know, no repros here. And um, as far as the series goes, you know, these two are, they're, they're pretty neck and neck. I like, I like three and four, um, you know, the Lightning Force is, is really Thunder Force 4. Um, but the horizontally scrolling shooter levels in this game are good. It's just that like free range, like go whichever direction you point on the D-pad kind of mechanics. I, I don't, I can't get down with that. I, I need got to be scrolling one way or the other, up or down, left or right, but not any way I want to go. So for, for that reason alone, I'm not a huge fan of Thunder Force 2, but again, you know, three and four and both have awesome music. So a series that I highly recommend. Um, let's see, these are repros. Let's go over some card only stuff. Um, carts that I have, original cards, Truxton. Awesome shooter Toplin games. It's in that new Toplin collection that just came out. Um, I recommend it. It's good. Card only, it's not going to kill you. It's like 50 bucks for the card or something like that. But for what it is, it's worth it. I wish I had this like complete in box, but whatever. This is a shooter I got the other day at a store, and it's a Task Force Harrier EX. This thing kind of this thing kind of shocked me. I'm going to play this today. Hell, I might even stream this later. Um, if you guys want to stop by the channel. Um, yeah, this is a... Uh, Damn, this is like a hidden gem. Yeah, I found this at the store. There's three games I found at the store the other day. I'll just go all through all three of them right now while I'm at it. But um, yeah, Task Force Harrier EX. You know, just a cart, but yeah, whatever. It's a it's a dope shooter. I, I recommend this one. Um, another game that I found there just the other day, and uh, this is like a ten dollar game, but a uh, Defense Force. This cart is so jank looking. Like I don't even feel like I'm taping it, but. It looks like a repro, but I did research, and this is uh, the real deal. Um, I played this yesterday for a little while, and I watched a video like on my way back from the game store, and this guy like ripped this game apart. He's like, "Oh, this game sucks." Blah blah blah. I dig this. Like, I played this for a little while yesterday. This this ain't that bad, you know. The the, the sprite work ain't all that, but yeah, Defense Force. I think complete in box. This game's probably pretty cheap too. Like, again, this was ten bucks at the game store. Um, and the last game I found, I probably shouldn't classify this as a shoot 'em up, uh, but Robo, Atomic Robo Kid. Um, you can kind of go any direction you want, but it's more like left and right than it is up and down. So you're, you're kind of here, actually see the cart, but uh, kind of simple but cool artwork. And, you know, we all know and love the, uh, the Genesis logo. But uh, yeah, Atomic Robo Kid. Um, 
Next up, we have Sagaya. So this is a I mean, Darius game, obviously. I mean, look at the artwork on the front of the cart. Um, haven't really spent a lot of time with this one. I found this at the flea market a couple months ago, and I just kind of, it's just kind of been sitting there. But um, there it is, Sagaya. I hadn't even heard about this for years after I was buying Genesis games, so I don't really see that one that often. Um, next up, this is a cheap cart, Biohazard Battle. This is actually in the Genesis collection. I think for like the Switch and PS4, I'm pretty sure it's on that collection and not one for another system because we all know that there's Genesis collections for like every system. And that's a that's actually a good thing. But anyway, Biohazard Battle, card only. And here, this is card only. It's just inside of a box. But this is a Twin Cobra and there's a big sticker on there. That's actually, uh, I think that's what I paid to the $5 for this cart, which probably is, it's probably too expensive. This cart's probably not even worth that, but it's a shooter, Twin Cobra. It's not, not too impressive. It's okay, I guess. Um, um, let's go over some games that aren't quite, sh let's go over some repros that I got. Trouble Shooter 2, or uh, Battle Mania 2. I guess it would be Trouble Shooter 2 if it came out here in the United States, right? Battle Mania 2, this game is insanely expensive. This is a repro copy. I got this at a place called Regen uh, near my house, and they, they put their little branding on there. Got a few repros from them. They're done really well. They're made with original carts. So, yes, they do destroy cartridges and rechip them and all that. But uh, there's like a million cartridges out there. Why, why not repurpose them, right? I mean, I'm, I'm not opposed to that. But, you know, I printed some artwork. And uh, I think there was like some like fan-made artwork that originally came with this because they gave me a case, but I didn't like that. I just printed the Japanese artwork. But anyway, Battle Mania 2 or it would have been Troubleshooter 2 if it came out here in the U.S. Um, Panorama Cotton. Repro, same place, Regen. So they got their little branding on there. Um, and I, I actually printed artwork for this. This is an insanely expensive um, Japanese Mega Drive game. If you had an original copy, of course, this is a repro. Um, this isn't really a shoot 'em up, but it plays more like a kind of like the Genesis version of Star Fox, but it's you know cotton, so you're you're a witch, so to speak, riding a broom. Um, this game's really cool. This is a lot cooler than the cotton that we got on the uh, on the Dreamcast. Um, yeah, get a repro of this one unless you want to pay the however many hundreds of dollars uh, an original cart goes for. But this is a really cool one, and I, I recommend it. Uh, next is, well, I should have said I had three favorite shooters on the Genesis because this is one of them, Glay Lancer. Ad, uh, let's see, Advanced Buster Hall Glay Lancer. The soundtrack to this is my favorite video game soundtrack of all time. It's on the Genesis. This is a repro cart. I got that came with a repro manual. So this is a really cheap repro though. But Columbus Circle actually re-released uh, Glay Lancer a few years ago. And copies of that, the re-release are like probably over a hundred dollars now. But they might even be a couple hundred, honestly. Hell, I mean, it might be almost as expensive as the uh, the real thing, you know. But yeah, this is one of my favorites. I'm gonna say that this actually I like better than Trouble Shooter and and Grindstormer. Uh, yeah, I like Glay Lancer better than Grindstormer. So yeah, this is probably there's only one game that I like more than the, those two, and we'll, we'll go over that here in a second. But anyway, Glay Lancer, it's a repro. Um, let's see. Here's a game that's not a shoot 'em up, but I got this at the flea market, and I don't know, a couple months ago, and it's uh, Mega Turk. And this one I never really see. Um, I'm sure I have seen this at retro stores, but it was probably just like you know insanely expensive. Um, but yeah, this is a real, real cart, and I did not, I did not pay that. Um, that price was actually on the cart. Somebody had actually priced that at, at some point, but I did not even pay that. I'm, I would never pay that for a Genesis game unless it was like Crusader Ascenti. Then I would pay the uh, 109 or whatever. I would pay 109 for a Crusader Ascenti because I've only seen that cart like one or two times in my whole life. But anyway, Mega Terrick, and it's like a running gun, but it's a pretty, pretty decent one. Another game that's not quite a shoot 'em up, but it has shoot 'em up levels is uh, Rocket Knight Adventures. This one's complete. There's a manual in there. I just have a piece of cardboard because like the the ends were curling up, but the manual is in kind of decent shape. But I don't feel like digging it out. But uh, original case, original manual, and original cart. And there's like another game with Sparkster, right? I don't have that, but 
I do have this, and this one's cool, Konami. You know, you see the Konami logo. You know, it's probably going to be a decent game. But anyway, Rocket Knight Adventures, and there's shoot 'em up levels in this game. Next, another running gun shooter, so not quite a shoot 'em up, would be Gunstar Heroes, and this is just card only. I made the artwork for this. Um, eh, treasure. I'm not a huge fan of treasure games. Let me just say that. I mean, you'll see all these these guys on YouTube praise treasure yeah they got a couple cool shooters on the dreamcast but other than that like eh, treasure like uh, i just they, they uh, their subject matter is just not it ain't all there it ain't for me and gunstar heroes is just not for me even though i own ports of it on a few different systems it, uh, i see that damn treasure logo and i'm like damn they fail me again, you know, Treasure. I just, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not a huge fan of your company. Some of your games are okay, they're not bad. They're just, they're just not for me. And next up, I've actually, I had this as a kid. This is a game that I actually had as a kid, and this is just a cart, cart only. I made the artwork again for this one. But uh, I've had, I've had friends of this that have had copies of this, and I owned a copy as a kid. I, I'll tell you a story real quick of some real scumbag stuff that I did as a kid. There was a kid in my neighborhood that had a PlayStation when the PlayStation first came out. And I, I wanted his PlayStation because I he had, you know, some pretty cool games for it. Like I just played the games on the demo disc, but anyway, I convinced this kid who's a couple years younger than me to trade his PlayStation with like the demo disc, and I think he had a copy of Crash Bandicoot, and that was about it. For my Genesis and like maybe 10 games, and this is one of them. Complete inbox, I'm sure, with the manual, because I really took care of my games. And his parents were so pissed at me. But think about this. One of the games I gave him was Contra Hardcore. So, you know, I was it really that bad of a trade. Thinking on it now, I would not have made that trade at all. So, I think the kid's name was Kyle. Kyle, you know, I know it was kind of messed up what I did back in the day, but at least you got my copy of Contra Hardcore. It was a fair trade, if you think about it. You know, looking back on it now, you should be grateful, Kyle. But, uh... Anyway, that's Contra Hardcore. A, a, a very, very good game, Contra Hardcore. I really, really like this Contra game. Okay. Um, next up, now, I do. we're going to go over some Sega CD games, just a couple of them that I have. Um, I will say this. If you like shooters and you have a Sega Genesis, you're going to need this. I like using Game Genie codes, you know. Sue me. I, I love using this thing. It, all, oh, it also bypasses any kind of, you know, Basically, Mega Drive carts don't fit in a U.S. Sega Genesis, but with this, they do, because there's nothing preventing the cart from just sliding in here. It's just the same pin set. It's just the shape of the top of the Sega Genesis. You can't fit the Mega Drive carts in there, but with this, you can get around that. Now, this does add a little bit of noise, you know, audio noise, and at least on my TV, it does. I don't have, like, a brand new TV. It's a flat screen, but... Yeah, and I, and I have like a Hyperkin uh, HDMI cable that I actually highly recommend. I don't have it here in front of me, but if you have a Sega Genesis, that HDMI Hyperkin cable is awesome. You can do 4.3, 6.9. Um, it's pretty great, but get a Game Genie cart. They're not expensive. Go online. You can find all the codes. You know, highly recommend this thing if you own a Sega Genesis. Get yourself a Game Genie cart. Okay, next up. A very cheap Sega CD shooter, Soul Feast. I do believe this was a pack-in game. I've really liked this shooter. It's not the greatest, but it's pretty cheap. I think I might have paid $10 for this. It's probably worth about $10 now. But if you're getting into Sega CD or collecting and you want a cool game that's pretty cheap, this is probably the best you're going to get for the money. Um, like I said, it was a pack-in. But anyway, Soul Feast. Next up, another not great. Uh, this is kind of a shoot 'em up I mean, it is on rail, but Soul Feast, you know, a, a game and a a series of a, a few games one of them being I think the last one that released released on the on the 360 you know, there's one that came out on the PS2 working designs released it but you know working designs on the PS2 and we have game arts right here on the on the Sega CD I mean game arts they did a lot like Grandia Luna I mean that's that's a that's a big name right there game arts but this game kind of let me down Sylphie, not the greatest shooter, but it is a shooter on the Sega CD. And I, mean, I know we're basically talking about the Genesis here, but I kind of think of these as the same system. I, I dig the Sega CD, so Sylphie on the Sega CD. Here we go. All right, so this is my favorite shooter on the system. I only got one more shooter here to show you. My favorite, I paid $100 for this game a while back. I got it wrapped in plastic, but it is complete with its manual and everything. I just don't feel like pulling it out of the plastic wrapping that I have it in. Hell, I should do a repro of this, that way I don't use my original copy. And that game 
is Android Assault. I absolutely love this game. Now, I have repro copies I just burnt and made myself of like um, Rebel Alest and um, Kyo, Kyo Flying Squadron. Like, I have copies of those that I made, so I can play those games, but this is my original copy of Android Assault. Now, I remember when I bought this game, it was either this or Robo Alest, and I, I was like, I, I, I'll give me the Android Assault. And I got home, and I, I could have, you know, like I said, there was one of each. And I was like, damn, I should have got that Robo Alest. And, you know, after really playing this game and playing the other game, I really dig Android Assault. I love the music. Like, yeah, it's not a vertical scroller. It's a horizontal scroller. But, man, it's just, I love this. Like I said, the music, the graphics, the sprite work. The, oh, my God. This is, like, this is one of my favorite shooters of all time. I'm the only person I've ever heard say that. Um, I recommend that people check out, check out Android Assault. Um, I do think the, the the Mega Drive release, which is probably probably just as expensive, but um, it's called like Bar Barry Arm, but it says it right there, the Revenge of Barry Arm. I think that's what it's called, like Revenge of Barry Arm or Barry Arm, if you get a Mega Drive copy. And of course, that's going to come in a um, regular jewel style cd case but i dig these big sega cd and these saturn cases but yeah android assault i absolutely adore this shooter it's one of my favorite shoot 'em ups of all time why i don't know i just i really dig the graphics the mechanics and uh which are simple and uh, the soundtrack yeah, it is rocking in this i absolutely love it so that's it that's uh that's all my sega genesis shooters uh, as far as systems go for shooters this is pretty up there um, I'd probably own more shooters for the Sega Genesis than I'd, any other system. I don't know, maybe the PS1, PS2. I have quite a bit for there. But anyways, guys, till next time. Peace. Snakes in the frost, run straight with the oars, your face in the course, straight lace in my port, I'm a race of a torch, I'm a brace of a squash, terror taste in your heart. Made for the oars to the grave, for your plot, where you lay to the rod, I'm a slave to the block, keep me swayed from the clock, but a wave to the clock, time's off, rounds off, miles off, now stop. Stop picking your limbs because you're cut off, somebody get him a rag and wipe the blood off.